On today's episode of Soul Food Kitchen, we bring you a special episode. Today we're doing kimchi! Kimchi! Bora, can you tell us what kimchi is? Kimchi. America, apple pie. Germany, sausage. India, curry. Korea, yes, kimchi! So there are hundreds of types of kimchi out there, but cabbage kimchi is the most traditional and popular kimchi. In fact, kimchi is uh, known as one of the healthiest foods in the world, mainly because it contains plenty of healthy bacteria from the fermentation. Back to Trey. Kimchi is about as American as apple pie is to Korea and Koreans. Best comparison. It's more, it's a commonly familiar dish now. I would say in the past 10 years, it probably took off where you can find it at your grocery stores. It's a common component in all Korean cuisine. It's used as a side dish or sometimes main ingredient. And you can make kimchi almost anything. Today we're gonna do with the granddaddy of them all, cabbage kimchi. And let's start off with cooking. All right, let's go over your ingredients, what you need for kimchi. Start off with the basics. You're gonna need carrots. You're gonna need green onions. This is optional. This is a Korean mustard green. Chives, these little shrimp paste things right here. You can get them at any of your Korean local market. Anchovy, not really necessary, but it's a sub out if you don't have any fish sauce. Daikon radish. You're gonna need rice flour. Regular flour works just as well. Garlic, uh, about 20 cloves as I knock it everywhere. Salt, brown sugar, and red pepper. All right, let's get to making some kimchi. First, we wanna start prepping these Napa cabbages. I, this recipe calls for three cabbages. Uh, these are Godzilla cabbages. So uh, hopefully we can get them all in the kimchi recipe, but if not, you'll just have some left over and you can use it for something else. But let's start off by prepping it. You're gonna come right here, see this? The butt of it, you're gonna take it, take your knife, stick it down the center, just like that. Once you cut it down like that, you're gonna split it like this. I'm not quite certain why that the pro why is that the process, but it works. It's effective. You're gonna do the same thing. You want to split each one of them into quarters. So right down the butt. Then you're going to. Ah. And you don't have to be a Hulk to do it. It's very easy. And you're gonna do that to all three of them. Whew. All right. Now that you have them all split into quarters, like the Mount Vesuvius. Uh, Napa cabbage. We're gonna rinse these off and we're gonna start with the next step. All right, got our gloves. We got our salt, kosher salt preferably, because it sticks a little bit better. And you're gonna just take one piece and you're just gonna be like, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That's it, no more than that. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Because when this stuff starts to, it'll release water and it'll soak the cabbage in water. Then it'll be this salty brine. So you don't need a whole lot. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle in between each layer. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. We are now finished salting the cabbage. It's gonna take about two hours for this to actually do it, work its magic, do its thing. Every cup, every, I say 10, 15 minutes, just rotate it around a little bit so it's like, gets in the brine down underneath. But as you see, it's like this big right now, like the Mount Vesuvius of a uh, cabbage. It's not gonna be like that in about two hours. It's gonna be really down in there. It's gonna, uh, so while that's doing its thing, marinating, pick it, pick it, pick it. Let's go ahead and get started making the paste. Ah. Hey Google. Set a timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. Okay, now we're gonna uh, make our paste. 
We're gonna start off with three cups of boiling water. We're gonna do two tablespoons, either rice or just regular flour. Uh, I do the method where I mix mine off to the side first, because I think it's easier than putting it inside there. And remember, watch your water, because it could boil over as well, because this is just like pure starch water, basically. So just give this a quick whisk. Whisk, 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 whisk. These cute little things right here. Try not to make a mess like I am. Once it's done, go ahead, pour it inside. Like I said, reduce your temperature a little bit so you just won't boil over. But you wanna uh, wait until that thickens a little bit. So just let it stir around. A few minutes later. Now that it's bubbling and gets all nice and thick like, you wanna set this off to the side and you just wanna let it cool down you probably want to get a bigger boat. All right, so you're gonna put it inside here, all nice and thick like, and you're gonna set it off to the side, and we'll come back to this later, because we're gonna pretty much be mixing everything inside the bigger boat. Okay, now that we prepped our rice water paste, we're gonna let it cool off, and we're gonna add the other ingredients to it once it cools off. But while that's cooling off, our cabbage is brining, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna prep our greens, everything that'll go into our kimchi. We're gonna start by doing our Korean mustard greens. All this up is just a rough cut, nothing special. About inch, two inches, cut it, put it like that. That easy, even I can chop this. Boom, boom. Do the same thing with the green onions. You only need about a cup, cup and a half of each ingredient itself. Uh, I went heavy on the green onion side because I like green onions, but it's pretty much your preference. If you like more of one thing, add more of one thing. If you don't like more of one thing, don't add more of one thing. Try to experiment. Do something else, kimchi. All right, here we go. That in there. That, that, that. And we have our chives. Like I said, rough cut again. Chives, chives, chives. All rough cut, throw it in there. And now here comes the fun part. We're going to and we're going to julienne slice our daikon and our carrots. The voice from God. For this next part, we're going to prep the ingredients for our blender. We're going to start by peeling the ginger. We're going to peel also the Korean pear. Then we're gonna rough cut the onions. God out. Okay, we finished prepping our onions and our pear and our ginger and our garlic. Now, all that's left is, all we have to do now is combine everything together in this blender. Then we pour it inside our rice por porridge along with our veg and we just mix it all together with our red pepper flakes. And let's get that started now. on. Blend, blend. Keep on slow batch blending all these ingredients together. One pear, one full onion. I said your ginger and your garlic. Do your ginger garlic now. And you can combine some of your other wet ingredients. You're gonna do half cup fish sauce. Nice. Maybe three tablespoons of brown sugar. How do you say three in Korean? Sat. Then you're going to add your nice little shrimp paste. Just need about a third of a cup, maybe a quarter, completely up to you. I'll use about a, I'll use about a quarter cup. A little guys and all. All right, put it in there, hit power, hi. And there you have it. Just take it off. 
take all this lovely mixture right here and ah, we're going to pour it all together. Look at all that. Ugh. Done. Now from there, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna combine all our veg. We're gonna mix that all together. Red pepper, those are about, like I said, two, one. Two and some change. Just add it to it. Doesn't matter. It's your counter. Add it to it. Two of them. All right, from there, that's why you need the gloves. You gotta mix this all together. All of it. Ah, my eyes. All right, so we have it all mixed together. The only part we have to do now is just wait. We have about a few more minutes for our cabbage to be ready. Then we'll teach you how to combine it from there and your special bucket that you need to put it in. Python. Okay. See, look, it's all wilted. Look at all the liquid you have on the bottom. It was here and it went down here. So now all we have to do now is Rinse this bad boy off, then we can start building kimchi. Yeah. This is the last part brought to you with no commercial interruptions. This is the cabbage. Oh, wilty like and nice. This is our seasoning. And this is a kimchi bucket. Now, don't have to use an actual kimchi bucket. You can buy one of these at your Korean market or Amazon, or you can use a jar. You can use one of the traditional mason jar type things or whatever. But this is what we have right here, and this does the job. After you're done storing it here, just leaving your refrigerator over the counter, 48 hours should be perfect. Let's start layering this on. First, you're gonna take your first little wedge thing right here. Take it, then you're gonna start layering in between each one. Get a little bit on, that's the whole thing. That's why you have this big bucket to work with. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And more boom, boom, booms. Do like that. Squeeze that over here. Then I put it in here. Let's start. Building my layers going up. Have my next one. That's why you need a bigger bucket. So you can do this. So nice and red. And after a couple of days with this being stored in there, it'll produce all that nice liquid that you're used to in kimchi. Amazing. Cause you're probably looking at it like, oh, where's all the liquid at? It will produce a kimchi juice. There. All right, this is basically the end of my kimchi. You wanna put a lid on it, store your refrigerator or on the counter over for 48 hours. That juice will pile up right there. It'll be nice and red. And we'll see you in a couple of days to show you the finished product. Don't forget to click and subscribe. I like our channel. Thank you, bye. Two days later. It's been 48 hours, and now we're gonna check our kimchi. And I also brought my revenge beer, and we also brought kimchi jars as well, because we're giving out the kimchi to our friends, and we're also revenge beer, because I am revenging on all my friends by naming them after beer, because they like to play a lot of practical jokes on me. But let's check out our kimchi after 48 hours. Ah. 
Here we go. You see it? The juices rose inside of it. This is our kimchi. Roll that beautiful bean footage. B roll that. Here's another one. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my episode on kimchi. Hope you like it as much as we do. do. Also give it out to your friends like we are. Don't forget to click and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode of Soul Food Kitchen. I'm